Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Invasion. This is the Empire versus Farmers. We're on wave 16. So we just passed the, uh, what was it, the Church of Bump or something? Church of Dubstep, I think, actually is what these guys were called. That was a previous boss wave. I'm playing a class that I don't think I ever play as, as Empire, and that's the Man at Arms with a crossbow, specifically, not a gun. Because I never play with the crossbows. Uh, the reason why I chose the crossbow is because it's uh, more accurate than, than the guns are. And I still am able to miss, though. That's not going to change. Was that an arming sword? I still need some melee weapons, which... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even hit anything? Hmm. Whoa, whoa. I wonder if that's friendly fire or if I'm getting hit by like farmer rocks? I don't even know. Hmm. I don't even know how far this thing goes. Never even used it before. Is that an Axe of Judgment? Okay. Uh, sure. I did have this spear that I bought on the random weapons crate, but I think the Axe of Judgment is going to be better. Let me see if I can wash the bolts. Alright, so I can't go about that distance. Alright. I just need to, need to aim better. There we go. <laughs> Aim at an area of a hundred people, bound to hit somebody. Except for not that time. Ah, I probably hit a shield. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I should not be this close. Ooh. Oh. Okay, now I saw that one. That was a watermelon that, that just hit me. Damn, farmers and the watermelons. Ah! Jeez! Man, really? Javelin in my knee? My shin, maybe? Or maybe it was something else, I don't know. Well, that was a quick run with the man at arms. That was fun. Let's change it up to a ranger. Let's go back to a nice bow and arrow. I do like the armor of the rangers in this game. Or the, this faction, not this game. I guess we'll see if they manage to hold off another boss wave so I can join back in. Ah. I couldn't help myself. I had a giant axe. I should have been at range with the crossbow, but I just. My nature is just go in and melee. That's what I did. So I don't play range classes that often because I just I get that itch. I'm just like I I can't sit here and shoot this gun or fire this bow. I need I need my sword coated in blood. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need that. Oh, this is, <laughs> if you watch my chivalry videos, this is probably something you heard already, but in case you don't, I just wanted to mention real fast. I watched a teaser trailer for the Superman vs. Batman. Batman vs. Superman? I don't know which, I think it's Batman actually first. And in the teaser, it was just somebody, it looked like a camera phone, or phone on a, a camera, <laughs> a camera on a phone. Jeez, I can't even talk. Because the quality was crap, and it was looking at the screen, it, this was in Comic-Con, and the entire teaser trailer is set in nighttime, and basically, it's just Batman looking up at Superman, who's kind of just hovering in the in the air, and Batman's on a rooftop, and as soon as they showed Superman, because they were showing Batman for a little bit, and then they showed Superman sitting up there, and they were just staring at each other, like the entire crowd just lost their shit. They weren't even really doing anything, they were just looking at each other with these, like, just a serious face, well, I'm not sure if 
Batman had a serious face, you know, his face is covered by mask, but it looked, his, his mouth area looked pretty serious. But what was just crazy is that how everybody was just losing their shit over this. It's just two guys staring at each other. And I, I, I was just like, I mean, it's, it's cool, I guess, Superman versus Batman, but they were just in, they were, they were so happy, excited to see these two characters just staring at each other. I, I didn't really get it. I just kind of sat there like, huh, okay, that, that is a teaser trailer. It's telling you really nothing about, about what's going to happen. But anyway, I just, I just found it kind of funny at all the people in the audience, how just excited they were to see these two guys just staring at each other. And I'm like, man, I'm sure there's a bunch of fanfic out there about Superman and Batman doing even more stuff if you really are that crazy about these two people being in the same area with each other. I don't know. I'm not a huge DC fan, so maybe I just don't get it. I kind of like Batman. I don't really like Superman, because I think Superman's kind of OP. A little bit. Just a little bit OP. Dude has, like, one weakness that I know of. Again, not being a super comic book fan, the only weakness I know of is Kryptonite. It's kind of a rare thing. From what I understand, Batman keeps a small amount of kryptonite on hand as well as I guess counters for all the other superheroes just in case they ever turn evil that's what I that's what I understand my limited knowledge so I imagine Batman would win because Batman is intelligent he knows how to stop people and if he does have kryptonite he's gonna be like boom kryptonite on a on a batarang he's gonna batarang kryptonite up to Superman's face Superman's gonna be like ah and he's gonna fall on the ground and the Batman's gonna be like I win that's if they keep the whole Christian Bale voice. Maybe Ben Affleck will do something different. And that's going to be the movie. It's just going to be Batman on the rooftop, Superman in the air. And somehow Batman is going to be able to throw a Batarang fast enough that Superman can't stop it. It's going to get close to him. He's going to... Oh, you know what? Superman will probably catch it. He'd be like, really, Batman? And then he's going to find out it's laced with kryptonite. Then he's going to be like, oh, oh, oh. And he's going to fall on the ground. And the Batman just says, I win. Movie over. Boom. Two-minute movie. There you go. People would still pay millions just to see that scene. I should make movies. Anyway, <laughs> here's the midget wave. And the defenders lock themselves behind a barricade that they can't hit the midgets through unless they destroy the barricade. So it seems kind of like a bad barricade. That is a nice head that you have on your shoulders. Wait, what? How the? How did you get up there? Can you jump up this side? I don't know if I've ever seen anybody up there before. Oh, something that's not Superman or Batman related, or even in the DC Universe, that I'm really looking forward to is the... Um, gal oh my gosh, now I'm going to talk about it, I can't remember the name of it. Galactic Heroes? Galaxy? He the Marvel thing with the raccoon that's coming out like in a week? Or in a couple weeks? Galac How do I not remember the name of this? I just saw like three trailers of this because I'm so excited for it to come out. Ah, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Galaxy Heroes, something like that. But anyway, that looks really good. It looks really funny. And I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, I hope it's so good. I really hope it's so good. I have high expectations for that movie. And if it sucks, I'm going to be so sad. So sad. Heroes of the Galaxy? Ah, whatever. Well, this is silly.
<laughs> oh my god. The midges do so little damage, it's just like nothing's happening. It was just a line of Empire soldiers and a line of midges just batting at each other. <laughs> Nothing happening. Alright, I, I, I think the Empire's gonna win. I think? I don't know. You wouldn't think Midgets would have so many hit points. Alright, cool. They got past it. Oh yeah, but uh, one of the reasons I'm, I'm really hyped is for that Heroes of the Galaxy, or Galaxy Heroes, whatever the heck the movie is called, is that the main character, the main human of the film, he was the guy who played as the main character in that Lego movie, which I actually just kind of saw just a couple weeks ago. I ended up really liking it. The Lego movie I thought was, was pretty damn good. And he was the actor who voiced the main Lego guy in that movie. The good guy. And he was pretty funny in it. I, I really liked him in that role. So I, I'm hoping that he shines in a, this live action role. Because I know I have seen him in another live action thing. It was a, it was um Oh, it was a sitcom. It's been on for a long time. Oh, what is that sitcom called? He was like an idiot boyfriend kind of role. Uh, I watched it so long ago. Oh, I cannot remember what the hell that sitcom is called. It It's a sitcom that has that guy with the beard and he has always the serious look on his face. Nick, like Nick Offerman or something like that. I think that's his character's name in the sitcom. It's that show. Anyway, that's what I remember that actor being from. If any of that made sense. So I apologize if it didn't. Oh, that should have hit. I'm trying to stay away from the front lines this time. Hopefully won't die in the first wave. Aha! Oh, I don't know where that that shot was going. All right, well, looks like they're beating them back, so uh, I guess I'll go on the ramp. Oh, you know what? No, 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 forget that. I'll go over here. Uh, there should be a spot right up here. Because I don't want to go so far away from all of the refill stations. Yeah, here we go. Right here. Oh my goodness. Ah! There it is. No, nope, that is not the real token. He is an imposter.
Now you can tell it's a rotation because none of his arrows are hitting their targets. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Oh, headshot, nice. Love those headshots. Just the anime blood that just comes out. <laughs> I, lo I love that. I love anime blood. You get one little cut, then it just. You know, actually, now that I say that, I haven't actually seen something like that in, in a real anime for a, a while. Now that I think about it, maybe that's an older anime thing. Oh, no! What? No! Oh, uh, nuts! Where'd he hit me at? Was it like in the mouth? It looked like in between my upper lip and my nose. Oh my god. Depending on the angle, I don't know, you may be able to survive that. Through, between the upper lip and the nose. If it was, well, actually, no, no, no. Because based on the angle that I got shot at, it would be going up into the brain, yeah. That would not be going out of the back of the neck. Well, dang. Good shot, AI crossbow person. You got me. You know, the funny thing is, I probably would have lasted a lot longer if I had just been in the melee fighter. team seems to be doing a pretty good job of killing the farmers. I'm just sad I can't be there to fight with them. Through the face. I wonder if it's this person right here. Are you the one who put the bolt in my face? Oh well. Revenge has been served. That Swadian calf. <laughs> oh, you're not going to be fast enough. I'm going to assume that person's probably dead or will die soon. Oh, no, the horse. What did the horse do to you? Jeez. Horse killer.
<laughs> this is a complex set of barricades. Is there even one actual path? Go around the door. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 there is. I was just thinking if maybe this entire section was just closed off. AI always have a problem when it comes to barricade labyrinths, usually. I think I just used always and then usually in the same sentence. That doesn't make sense. You know, they always usually. And by always usually, I mean most of the time. That's that's the actual meaning behind that. I mean, look at them! They're just like, Suh, there's a wooden wall in front of us! What do we do? Commanding officer's like, I, I don't know, just bash at it? Walk around it? I don't know. Figure it out. Oh boy. Yes, you just locked yourself in there with the AI. What the heck? Oh, through the face! Wait a minute, Clark is just leading these people? Ugh, I hate Clargus. Because of the Floris mod, I, I think Clargus is one of the people who always betrayed me. Oh, I want that guy dead. Kill that man. Yeah, take that, Clargus. Betrayer. <laughs> Only good Clargus is a dead Clargus. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I am buried in people, apparently, and barricades. So thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Come out here!